Yes. All right. Okay. Molinaro back here with 533 with the... Spartan Robotics 971. Based out of? Mountain View, California. Here you go. So can you tell us how carbon fiber has helped you compare to something like aluminum or steel? Um, yeah, so for the arm, um, aluminum is actually pretty similar in like stiffness and sh strength, um, but and like lightness or weight as well. Um, but we went with the carbon fiber just because it's slightly better and it also just looks really cool. Um, so yeah. Tell me, is that a car room for a pulley? <laughs> that, the giant sprocket? That, yes. Yeah, so those, we made those sprockets so huge um, because it actually helps with our rotational stiffness. So rotational stiffness is proportional to um, R squared of the pulley and we use that and also, um, and we stuck that all in a simulation as well as some other factors and it helped us calculate like, like this rotational stiffness of our arm, which is one of our main goals when designing the robot, um, because when we wanted to extend the arm, we wanted to make sure that we could stick in that position that we wanted to go to, instead of having to wiggle around and eventually settle. Um, we also have like a cross roller bearing in that main joint as well, um, and that's also, for, that's for torsional stiffness. Would you consider cereal a soup? Ooh, no. I feel like, like breakfast food is like cereal. It's like milk, milk is not a soup. Now, how do you guys do community outreach? How do you outreach to the people around you and your team? Yeah, so we have something called Spartan Series, and we basically host a series of workshops for a bunch of other teams to come in. We've been doing it for several years now, and we've had, last year we had over like 100 people and 40 teams. So we have all kinds of workshops. We talk about like software, electrical, um, our leadership structure, or just like different aspects of our robot. And we also post these videos onto YouTube so anyone can watch them. They're pretty helpful. Like we posted one in 2018 about our um, arm in 2018. And there's definitely other teams who have like le learned from us. And like these YouTube videos, they amassed over like 53,000 views or something like that. I think in total. Yeah, 57. Now what advantages does your robot have over the average member of the competition? Your drive, train, your arm, what aspects? I think that our arm is super stiff and that's one of the cool aspects about it. But, and Paulina also designed this, she was the lead for this really cool end effector. So I think something that's really unique is that we can pick up um, cubes and cones in any orientation. So tipped and also from like the front and back of a tipped cone. Um, so that just gives us a ton of versatility as well as being able to pick up and place on both sides of our robot. Um, so because we're not a swerve, we love having that flexibility to kind of score and intake from anywhere, and that's, that's really nice. Now, do you guys see yourself winning any awards, any spirit awards, any design awards? Um, hopefully. We've gotten interviewed a couple times, so fingers crossed. I think we have a really cool autonomous. Um, it's a three game piece and balance, and that is really sweet. I don't know if Mill and you are talking more about it. Autonomous? Yeah, so we use, a com we use four cameras for uh, vision in our localization. We have two cameras on each side. Each one is hooked up to this thing called a rock pie, which is like a Raspberry Pi, but better compute. Um, and each one is actually detecting the April tags on the field. And they all send their measurements to another rock pie over here, which fuses vision, IMU, and encoder data all in one extended common filter to get a super accurate estimate of where the robot is on the field, which helps us both follow paths in autonomous um, and auto align in teleop. Highly impressive. Thank you guys for having the time to talk to us today.